Uh, Council Member Carroll. Thank, thank you very much, Mayor. Yeah, I, just, I wasn't going to speak, but I think we have to counter some of that. And it's important to know that we have all these advocates here and, and supporters of Mr. Agron over many years. So um, we'll just say a few things for the record and for the video. Uh, the first thing, Council Member Agron, if it's too risky, or if you're worried about the imminent failure of the Orange County Power Authority, I, ur I would never normally do this, but I urge you to vote no. Uh, we will carry this 4 1 without you and you will be on record as voting against 100% renewable power as the default option for the Orange County Power Authority and for the city of Irvine. I will happily be voting yes as I seconded the motion and as I've told the advocates, I've told the business community, I've told the residents, my neighbors, my friends, uh, and the people that I've worked with for a long time on this. Um, Tiffany Law, I didn't mean to put you on the spot, but could you just stand up for one moment? We'll give Council Member Agron and some of his uh, supporters a little bit of a benefit. Uh, the person standing before you in the audience, her name is Tiffany Law. She's the Chief Financial Officer of the Orange County Power Authority. She has decades of financial experience. In addition to decades of financial experience, she was employee number one at a community choice aggregation entity, which is now called 3CE, which was previously called Peninsula Energy. And we are very fortunate to have Tiffany because in addition to being employee number one and being one of the core startup members of one of the most successful and largest community choice aggregation entities in the, in the United States, and of course the state, the state of California, was also instrumental in reaching the first ingress, investment grade bond offering of any CCA in the state or in the country. That is the person before you. That is the person with incredible amounts of experience. Thank you, Tiffany. I apologize for putting you on the spot. Uh, with regard to just a little more of the thank yous, I mean, I have a list of 100 names I would read, but you know, more than 100 that emailed us and, and contacted us and called us. But I'd just like to single out Linda Kramer of Climate Reality um, Project, Orange County, and of course, Margo, and Michelle Ellison of Green by Default. I think this has been uh, an incredible road, and, and you've really helped us pave the way uh, here as a council. So please don't be discouraged by some of the silly talk by someone who tried to start this 15 years ago and failed. Uh, this is a reality. This is a um, community choice aggregation entity that's run by actual professionals with, dare I say, a, a, a competent board um, led by the mayor and myself and some other great council members of the cities of Buena Park, uh, Fullerton, and Huntington Beach. We are on the track for success. All the stuff about the money the council member doesn't really know what he's talking about. We have a $35 million line of credit that is partially drawn. I guess Tiffany can tell us, but it's largely still available. We were going to be operating uh, with success. We were going to be launching with great success. Uh, we will be the greenest. Uh, hopefully, if we make this vote tonight successfully, it may go 4 1, unfortunately, but then we'll have that council member on record as voting against 100% renewable, and that'll be his choice. And um, I'm just really grateful to everyone that's really turned my journey uh, that began really um, not really supportive of this at all uh, to um, having the honor to chair the board and, uh, and help, um, help navigate in some small way the success of this amazing enterprise. So thank you very much.